All right, guys, it's your boy D'Anthony. I'm back with another Break Room Blitz toy box. Like I said, I do get a lot of toys. Um, I'm, I don't know, I just kind of got addicted to buying them. Um, now, I'm, I would call myself an amateur figure collector uh, because I don't spend a lot of money. I'm not gonna, I, I don't think I'll ever be one of those that spend like 250 bucks. But for like seven to 10 bucks, I'm the, that's where I live at, and I think this is a good, good deal here, you know. So, I got the Metals diecast, the Joker, boss, like a boss. And again, these these metals figures come in really nice, pretty boxes, man. Like, man, this just looks like it's just made to just stay in the box. So after I unbox it, I'll be definitely putting it back together. Um, so. This is the Suicide Squad version of Joker. Now, you might not like this version of Joker. Um, you know, you might be, you know, a, I don't know, a Heath Ledger or a Jack Nicholson version. Um, but to me, I liked him. I liked this version. He was a little gangster. He was a little um, crazy. You know, he was more like in a real world, you know. So I feel like... Joker running around in, you know, a tuxedo, purple tuxedo, and a flower, you know, that, that spits acid. Just doesn't, I don't know, wouldn't be too realistic. So, I appreciated it. You know, no, wasn't Heath Ledger. You know, he no one's going to beat Heath Ledger's version. I don't think so, anyway. Um, but, so it's definitely not that. But, I did appreciate what he brought to the movie. Now, I don't know why Jared Leto wanted to... You know, complain about all the stuff that got cut and stuff like that. I feel like he's not that big of an actor to me, and maybe to some other people he is, but to be like complaining. But um, I feel like he just should have been quiet. I I appreciated his role. You know, I I like that he was even in it. You know, so um, let's see. So I got the M19. There's a few of them with that big gun. But what made me get it was that huge gun. I was like, man, that gun is nice. I feel like this is going to be like a collector's item or something like that. You know, it may, might be, might not be, you know, but um, I I just liked it. I, I got it because I thought, you know, people were going to want it. That gun, though, like, man, really? Really? So, all right, so let's get to unboxing it. Now, this time should be a little easier because I've already done one of these. So let me cut that there. Now, we all know that this is Batman's arch nemesis. Um, doesn't really have a real um, origin story um, that, you know, that's like definitive, you know, so. Um, but his name is Jack Naper. Um, well, that's kind of interesting. And if you watch the Killing Joke um, or if you read the comic, you know that he was a um, failed comedian um, that um, was a little desperate to, you know, for money. And, you know, he agreed to do this job um, as undercover as the Red Hood. Um, Batman intervenes and he gets uh, pushed into, you know, I guess some type of, I don't know, chemical. And he made him look like this. So that's kind of, you know, the origin of uh, the Joker, if you, if you just, you know, adhere to that. You know, they say that, you know, it's a little fuzzy. Even him himself, he says that his origin is fuzzy, you know, but, um, again, I, I appreciate the the backstory and the effort that, it, that they put into, you know, these characters. It's not just like, oh, he's crazy and deranged, you know, and he's Batman's, you know, arch nemesis, you know. Just because I said so. You know, they actually put some time and effort into, like, where they come from, what their background is. So you can kind of understand why it is they do what they do. And you can probably predict what it is or what they're going to do. You know, because you already know what their upbringing is, is like. So, you know, I appreciate that. So, yeah, this time it's a little easier to get it out since I already knew what was what. Well, I haven't got it out yet. Maybe I should stop saying that, huh? These things, I'm telling you, it's not meant to be out of the package. I feel like they just meant it to be in the package for sure. But 
Oh, man, this feels so great, man. Like, look at that. It feels great. Oh, it turns a little bit. Got a little characteristic to it, you know? Well, that's kind of cool. Man, this gun feels good. Uh oh. All right, so the gun is plastic. So these are metals. Most of it is metal. Like, his body is metal. Feels like metal. His head, hmm. Feels a little plasticky a little bit. The gun is definitely plastic. I can I can bend it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see I can bend it. You know, so the gun's not metal. Ah, I'm a little disappointed in that. I wanted the gun to be metal. Not that, it, I mean, it's not going to be real, but it was. The, it would have more real effect. Like, you know, this is cold. Like, into this, this is metal. This is cold right here. This feels feels plastic or rubber or whatnot. Um, I guess it's a rubber, not plastic. But so I'm a little disappointed in that. But again, I'm hard to please. If you guys haven't noticed from the other movie reviews that we do, um, but I like it though. I like it has the tattoos on his actual face. You know, I like that. Like, I think that's cool. You know, it, it has the the actual spray paint in his mouth or well, it looks like spray paint to me it might be a grill but to me it reminded me of spray paint all they needed all they should have did man was have a tattoo on his on his uh on his hand so you know his hand goes up he has that tattoo i don't know if you guys seen it but it's a tattoo of his of, of a smile and he puts his hand in front of his face and you know he starts laughing that was so awesome i, I love this version of the joker i know it, it of course you know it wasn't you know heath ledger we know but you know, I thought that it was a great rendition. I think he did his his. I think he did his thing. You know, he he made the Joker his own, so I appreciate it. You know, I don't. He's upset. You know, Jared Leto's upset that you know we didn't. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff got cut out, and some people didn't like his version. You know, they said he was a little too gangsterish. But I mean, Joker was a gangster. He had minions. Like I don't know why people think that he wasn't. You know, he had people that worked for him. You know, like. He's a very he was someone that was able to influence other people. You know, he wasn't just a loner. He wasn't he wasn't like Batman. You know, he he actually had me. Now did he care for any of them? Probably not, you know. Um, but anyway, as far as the figure is concerned, that looks nice though. Like this is the Joker from Suicide Squad, you know? Looks nice, I would say. It feels heavy, feels good, paint job is good. You know, like it has, you know, they have, see, like, the little details, you know, you can see his chest. You know, he has, he has a, 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 a jacket, a sports jacket. He has a vest, and inside you can see his chest right there. You know, just like the little details, I, I appreciate that. You know, it makes you feel like I got a, a, I, I made a good purchase here, you know. And again, I bought this, I forget what I bought it for. It's probably like eight bucks, something like that. So, it, you know, if you have a, a kid, or if you yourself likes to, you know, collect figures, or you want to get into it, you, know, you can start with these little things. You don't, you don't need to spend like 200 bucks or something, you know. 10 bucks, you get your figure, you know. And it's cool. And you get to send it. I, I have them all on my, all on my, uh, on my cubicle, you know. So, that's how, that's where I, I geek out at is work, you know. I geek out at work. All my, my whole cubicle is filled with all type of figures, you know. So, but, let's see. Do I have anything to compare it to? I mean, I got my finger, you know. I don't know. Um... Not really. I mean, let's see. I don't know if you guys collect any of the Disney figures like I do. Um, it's a little taller than that. They say that they're, you know, four inches, but I don't know. It seems more like three and a half or something like that. You know, but, um, like the scissors, you know. I don't know if that's a real good comparison, but I like it. I, I appreciated it. You know, it, it's a it's a nice well put together figure you know so and they even gave you the ability to move a little bit so there all right that is my suicide squad the joker boss review all right guys my name is d'anthony i'm out break room bliss baby peace